Whenever you attend a film festival, it's easy to get so overwhelmed by all the big movies playing, you will let some nice little indies slip by you. But thanks to the online platform this year at the London Film Festival, it was very easy to catch up on some of them. This is my review of Bold. We follow a mysterious man only known as Bull, who returns home after a 10-year absence to seek revenge on those who double-crossed him years ago. Now before I properly start with my review for Bull, I wanted to know your thoughts, so start the conversation down in the comments below if you're excited, if you've seen it, if you heard about it, anything and everything down there. And if you like what you see here, make sure to click the subscribe button so you do not miss any future conversation on your favorite movies and TV. I knew nothing about this film going in. I barely know any of the actors on screen. I'm not familiar with the director's filmography, but I love a good simple, straight to the point, revenge thriller. And this is exactly what it is. It's got that grimy indie feel to it. It's very much handheld, but it's got all the violence you could want on a film such as this. The lead actor, Neil Maskell, who I'm not familiar with, I don't think I've ever seen him in anything. He is excellent. He plays this role with a lot of viscerality, but the necessary amount of humanity and vulnerability to it. There's always a sense that there's some emotionality behind each and every action. But this is a very, very violent man who's just there to inflict the most atrocious kind of pain on the people that he's after. And one of the things that makes that violence work is that he knows no bounds. He's not afraid of hurting children, he's not afraid of hurting women. And sometimes what makes it even better is that you don't see the act itself, but you just see the result of what he has done to someone. And sometimes it's very graphic, it's very violent, it's brutal, and he seems to be going on this role that he won't stop and there's no one and nothing that can stop him. The film also jumps back and forth in time to what he's doing right now, seeking revenge, and then we jump back in time to learn why he's seeking revenge and little by little we learn that these people that he's hurting now are former friends of him he was part of like this gang this unofficial mob that seized control over anything and everything in their town in their city and you start to see that this guy at least wasn't a very good man not that he's being a very good man right now but there's a satisfaction in seeing bad people getting hurt even if it is by another bad person. And as the film goes on and you dive more into Bull's backstory, it's easy for the film to make you root for him as you start seeing what his priorities clearly were and what drove a rift between him and the people that employ them, his friends, his bosses that all belong to this kind of mafia thing. So this film satisfies that basic craving for violence on screen that I personally really enjoy, but it is not doing anything new. It's not doing anything new in terms of the story structure, in terms of the narrative. It's not doing anything in terms of motivations for our characters. It's just doing what it is doing in a very satisfying manner. However, despite all of this, the ending really hurts this film. I'm not going to spoil anything, but the last five minutes of Bull recontextualize so much and I kind of hate it. <laughs> it's the difference between me really liking a film, really recommending it, and then kind of saying, just be prepared for the ending because it really sucks. It recontextualizes everything that came before and it makes you ask questions that were never there before. It was such a simple film with such a simple premise, a straight to the point goal for our character, a very clear motivation. And then with this ending, it kind of muddles it all into a mystery that is never solved and takes a lot of catharsis and satisfaction away from it. There's not even 
an emotionally resonant climax to the film even before those final five minutes and if you've seen the film you know what i'm talking about it's frustrating because what was a really solid brutal revenge thriller turned into a muddled mess that in context doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I still enjoy the violence. I think the performance from Neil Maskell is exactly what I saw and that didn't get hurt by the ending, but those last five minutes, man, it's the one thing I would take away from this script and I think it would elevate the film quite a lot. I'm giving Bull a C. It's an enjoyable revenge thriller that unfortunately kind of gets too pretentious for its own good or it was so simple and so effective in its simplicity. But those are my thoughts on Bull. Let me know your thoughts on it, anything and everything down there in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. You are the best. Make sure to click that subscribe button if you like what you saw here and you will not miss any future conversation about your favorite movies and TV as well as any future LFF coverage. There's still to come two more videos on that. There should be a playlist right up here right now now for all the London Film Festival coverage thus far. I hope to see you in there and I hope to see you in all the videos in the future. So until then, love each other and love the movies.